welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. So, doing this one a little different. I am going to be, I kind of didn't hook that up very straight, doing doubles of dynamite. As you can see, 23 hours, 54 minutes, doing a run of dynamite to Santa Fe, New Mexico. So, again, doing a, doing a longer run, but if you look at the price, we're getting $129,000 for it. So, um, this one will definitely be a multi-episode trip, if you will, but I think this one um, should be a doozy, plus $129,000. I mean, look, I will, uh, I will gladly take that. Um, it'll be nice to, um, I don't know, it'll just be nice to have a bunch of money, and we can just sit in the truck for a little while now, talk life, how things are going, um, and take our time. I'm telling you though, I'm still not fully, I don't know, I've got to figure out my wheel here because my wheel is not as tight um, with the turns as I would like it to be so I've got to look probably into some of my Thrustmaster settings I love the wheel don't get me wrong I do love it but um, I must have messed up some settings a while back and so now it just doesn't doesn't quite handle the same um, or I feel like it doesn't, like, I feel like there's a lot more play in the wheel. Could be some of, you know, the wear of the game. Maybe it's a more realistic thing, but I feel like I'm also missing something. So, how much... This is only, like, 40,000 pounds. It is a rush job, though, so... Yeah, so it's Wednesday right now. It's expected by Thursday if I just drove through the night. Um, but they don't need it till Saturday, so... At least these, like, it's doubles, but they're short. Um, because if they were long, it would be, uh, be a different story in that regard. But that's okay. So, hope you guys are having a, a great day. Um, depending on which day, um, I guess you're watching this. So, um, hope you guys are doing well. I've been pretty well for the most part. I've had my um, my share of battles, if you will. Um, but you know, sometimes it's I don't know. Going back, playing these games, things like that, it does um, kind of can be relaxing. As I've said in past episodes, people give me and Marcus a hard time for playing this game sometimes when it's just kind of therapeutic because you're just hanging out not really doing it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of skill and I think partially that's why some people just don't care for it because it does not require a lot from you um, but simulation games have just always been um, fun for me uh, especially trucking like I said Early, early episodes with having a, a uh, grandpa that used to be a truck driver and um, just something kind of a life I've somewhat grew up in not a lot but just in that um, area if you will so um, you know that's been been fun sometimes I do toss a turn on if I should get farming simulator but then I know that with farming simulator it's like I've had it in the past, I've enjoyed having it, but I also know that I think after a little while I would just be like, meh, like it just wouldn't, um, I don't know, it just doesn't grab me and I need to be in this lane. That was uh, kind of close. Um, but yeah, so sometimes I'm like, oh, it'd be fun, but then I know like I would buy the game and just be like, why did I buy this? Um, like, Marcus gives me a hard time 
because uh, I'll be like playing a different game. And he just actually today he was like, "You buy too many games." Because I was playing Rocket League earlier with a um, someone else I work with, and I was like, "Well, hey, this game was free, so um, otherwise, yes." Because I have bought like iRacing. I've played it a few times, but for what I paid for it, like, totally not worth it. Like, just a waste of money. He does let me know that, that, um, definitely wasted my money. Like, if I, if I waste money on anything, it's sometimes I'm like, I just, I really want this game. Which, I've got to do better, like, with Steam. You know, you have, like, two weeks, you can try it out, and if you've played it so few of hours, you can get your money back. But, like, you only have that certain time frame. Whereas I wish it was something that, it was a time frame that was, um, like, the time frame didn't matter so much. Like, maybe it had to be within a year. But more so, like, if, if it was under an hour, like, I mean, and again, I get the time frame. Maybe it's six months, whatever. But, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, man, it, it would be kind of nice if it wasn't, uh, you know... I don't know if it had just been something, something a little different, but you know, it's like investing, I guess. I make bad investments, just like anyone else that tries it from time to time. But yeah, nice thing too. This would be a nice long trip, so you know, over 1,200 miles. Um, I will definitely have a couple of days of drivers giving me some money. I am down also to 10 days left of loan payments, so I should for sure, I might be, we might get down to 8 by the time this is all said and done, because we'll have um, Thursday, because if they're not expecting it until Friday, or Saturday, Saturday night I think too, right? Uh, 11.30 to 1, so, um, yeah, like I think... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So it'll be quite quite the journey. Again, we're going um, from BHP and kind of in between Yakima and Wenatchee, Washington, to the Newport company in um, Santa Fe. I believe it was Santa Fe, right? Yeah. Or Newmont, sorry. Within Santa Fe, so. Again, crossing through a good portion of states. Handful of them. Of course, we're in Washington. Passed through Utah, parts of Oregon, I think a little part of Idaho. Uh, but, you know, going through a handful of states nonetheless and um, you know get good payday but it's also just a different I don't know a different um, different uh, style because I really don't do like I it's been a long time long time since I've done a um, long distance track of this degree. Like this, if anything, this is one that I would probably recently be like, hey, Marcus, let's do one and then do like a longer one like this. Now, I don't know with his skill level, I don't think it's quite there to be able to even get him that far. But it would still like that's where then it makes it OK, fun, because you're just chit chatting or I need to start um, live streaming, I guess, where it's like, oh, you can stream with someone and have have a basic live conversation with someone as a, I guess, as another way um, to just be chit-chatting, um, if you will. So it's, you know... But, I don't know, maybe I'll try it at some point. I've talked about it before. I know Marcus has told me I should just live stream. But, 
then it's also like, well, okay, can the machine handle it? The machine being my computer, because I didn't really buy it spec for that, but at least with this contract, obviously we are well over, you know, closer to $600,000, which means buying another truck, hiring another driver, but with his 129 grand, as long as I don't lose a lot of it from speeding tickets or something, um, I might be able to even buy two of them, maybe? Maybe I'll buy two trucks, get two drivers, and then maybe even um, expand the garage and make it so it's a large. But, you know, that will come in due time again. Been adding more drivers more and more. Some of that I think is because when I first was playing, when Marcus and I were playing quite a bit, like when he first was like, yeah, let's get back into it, or he wanted to really start getting into it, I was kind of following his lead where he was, as soon as he could buy a garage and hire someone he was. Because now it's like, well, yeah, now I can just keep spending, um, or not, I guess spending, yes, but investing in the garage and then using that as a way to, um, you know, continue to get more money, thus allowing, because the more drivers you have and the more profitable they are, you know, you can keep adding, 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 so, and the only way, hey, you like, I, you know, I got lucky that Sydney found a pretty high skill driver, but that's not always usually the case, so it's kind of, you know, finding the Oops, finding the drivers that uh, that can help you with that in that regard anyways wonder if we see like their air global up so just you know things like that where you're like well sure oh boy oh boy oh boy Log jam. Better put the four ways on. Not quite sure what's going on here. I feel like the game probably got too many people stuck together, like this car. Because that semi's got a double, and the car is in between the two. So that, um. That doesn't help. Um. Right? Is that, yeah, because that's what it is. Oh, nope. gotta be careful here. Well, I'm just going to, because I'm not going to, because I don't know if the game will fix itself like that, so. I'm just going to uh, get around it, I guess. Um. Maybe it'll fix itself at some point. But yeah, it's been nice just getting, um, you know, getting, getting more um, drivers, more money coming in, flowing in quite a bit faster. Um, you know, because then it's making it worth having them. Like, totally is. Because now it's like, one driver out of 16, counting myself, I think there's 16. Um, I mean, they could pay for my loan, and then it's just profit after that. So that's where it's nice to kind of keep it going, where if I just continue to, I don't want to say push the boundaries, but if I continue to just keep adding, adding, adding drivers, again, it's more money and just the, another way to keep um, keep profits up and um, you know and then it's like because I always do the oh yeah after I hit you know 500,000 at least then I will buy usually it's been 600,000 and so it's kind of just another way of like yep if I get to a certain amount then I will um, you know money range then I will do that because I feel at some point they really you know the more days you play and the more skilled they get like you're pretty soon 
they'll be bringing in like you know there's that one episode Miriam brought in like 16 grand and I think someone else has brought in about the same or 12 grand so it's like okay if they start bringing that in like every time I mean you know 40 other drivers it can add up fast you know and then because then it's as you get going you know I might let's say max out the garages and drivers and trucks and then go all right, now let's buy another DLC. Like Nebraska, I think is coming out here any day now, potentially if it hasn't already. So, um, you know, there's just different opportunities for things of that nature. Can I? No, I better not. Okay, come on, truck. Come on. I need to get over, so I need. Okay. Can we get over quick? Or did I. Did I not have to do that? Or did I? I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Well. Oh well, I guess. the way it looked I thought I was going to have to well nice thing with this I guess is there's three lanes oh no it's not no yeah it is three going slower looks though like there is a rest area so I will just stop to rest already which isn't a big deal this truck must be stopping to rest as well yep Which, you know, not a problem. But I'm sure he'll just drive straight through, so... Whereas I am actually going to stop. Which, if anything, will also be the hard part. Well, no, because I don't have super long doubles. Yeah, see, so they're going through already. I'm like, no, I am actually here to stop for the night. Stop. I just want to see how it looks. Oh, yeah. And decent. Alright, let's get the just the running lights on. We will power off and go to sleep. Ten, yeah. Alright. So, we can get on our way. Get the parking brake released. And we are set to take off. Make sure no one's coming. Doesn't look like it. There. Get right back to it. Couldn't find a job. Well, that's fine. Still, you know, decent amount of money, but it happens. Happens to the best of us. But again, you know, so it's like now you have David, he leveled up. Wonder how many days it takes for them, like, or how long it would actually take to get them maxed out on a level. Yeah, see, this is. I don't know. Part of it for me, the speed's kind of. I don't know. Kind of twisty turvy. It's almost tougher. And I feel like with having a squirrely wheel, trying to, you know, make it work, if you will. Wow, he's got triples on. Good for him. Well, yeah, at least they have to merge over. I'm in the fast lane, so I don't have to worry about that. I, oh, 
see like that's cool like little rest area they have the trucks just pulled over on the road like that oh it's actually a scale though see I'll just stay here because I know yep see he puts his brakes on and a livestock trailer well I haven't I feel like I haven't seen a livestock trailer in in quite some time but see now we can now we can kind of get cruising again I will I'm going to guess this next um, this next uh, um, next stop that we have we will have to um, we'll definitely have to get gas I'm guessing Maybe not. Well, I guess not. We'll actually have room to spare. I always forget now with like um, the skill up upgrade of the fuel economy that it actually does a lot better. Oof, I'm speeding quite a bit. I gotta get down to 70. There we go. Now the cruise is set. Got some dynamite on me, so I do have to be careful, but so like I'm just waiting for a a ticket. Not that I'm trying to speed. Yeah, so well we know so twelve hours basically twelve hours before I've gotta go back to sleep, so it'll take yeah, so two full days. Well no, it'd be one well probably the combination of two full after it's all said and done. That got me a little worried. Like I said, that's where it's like I wish the wheel was a little tighter um to my movements. Way station. Off. Just for it to tell me that uh, um, my truck is not uh, not the best uh, best shape. And then I go. Yeah, I know. Not in perfect technical state. Be more careful next time. I mean, more so, all you're telling me is that it needs an upgrade. <laughs> the parts are worn out. I get it. It's not that hard. It's also not that big of a deal. I know it's going to happen is I'm going to get hit with some congestion here. Better let's get moved over already. Cause like this car, I, I mean, yes, you do see sometimes cars are behind semis, but I don't know. I don't always like that though either. And I get it, you know, they they are programmed to stay so far between each other, but. Sometimes I kind of would be like, man, it'd be nice to change it, change it up. I can handle that. 
partially, like I said before multiple times, I don't know if I can go to California just because of the speed limits. It's just a lot tougher. I can handle the speeds on, on this for sure. Or try to anyways. I just need a little bit more of a hill. Oh, there's a loan installment. So, nine days left of loan installments. Oh, I'm in Utah. And I only know that because I remember going past this BHP. I feel like in the past. Ooh. There we go. Or so I feel like we're in Utah. If not, we've got to be... Yeah, we have to be close otherwise. There's 13 grand from Richard. See, so like that. That already paid off. Uh, that made up for the loan installment. So it's like besides, let's say, well, if I don't have to pay for fuel, though, I'll be good with that. With this being so long, I will, I should go up to level 34 as well. Um, which is, you know, crazy to think too. Because I think it's at like level 40. Then I think I'm for sure done leveling up. It might be 36. Maybe it's 36. Because then you're like, okay, then like it'll help you with contracts with, you know, I guess extra XP and more money. But it's kind of crazy because then you get to that point where you're like, well, now I don't, uh, yeah, don't do anything else. Skill set wise, nothing else to look forward to. Not the end of the world per se, but it's kind of like once you get so far up, unless you're going to the mod shop to get different paint schemes or something like that where you have to be higher level, it's kind of like, well, yeah, I can't, uh, can't make any other changes to my truck. Which, not that there would be much more to change on them, but... We do have to get, uh, get back up to speed here. It would be really nice to get back up to speed. Oh, here I can move over. Oh, I should've looked at that sign. Because I I'm almost positive I'm in Utah again. Seen those bins on the left. I'm trying to look too at the signs on the side because you know if they're like highway signs, sometimes not always. Um, you'll see like the outline of, of the state. So I've been trying to pay attention to that um, as well. Under a thousand miles though, 960 to go. Right now, 5:15 a.m. on Friday projection. Of course that will not happen. Um, what do we have? Uh, 10 more? Not even. I mean, we'll have a good... Uh, I will say seven and a half hours we'll have to do um, on Friday. We'll have another seven and a half hours to go. Like, bar none. I'll be guaranteed. Yeah, I'm. I'd always put money where in Utah, just because of the foliage and stuff. And I think we have to go through most of it. Well, the other thing, I should focus on the towns I'm driving by. That they say, I like turnouts for. Cool. Now it's seventy. means we can go 75. 